Good afternoon, everyone. Shannon Snedeker here for another Snedeker Spotlight. And today for our spotlight, we have Dr. Stacy Prosha with Injury Health Center. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, so if you could just introduce yourself and, and tell us where your office is located and, and just tell us about your practice. I, um, my practice, I have a practice in Sanford. I also have a practice in Daytona. Um, so the Sanford practice, we're located at 344 West Lake Mary Boulevard in Sanford. And it's right at the corner of Lake Mary Boulevard and 1792. There used to be, I don't know what the name of that gym is now over here, but it used to be LA Fitness. And we're right by the Waffle House. Can you believe it? I get to see the Waffle House every day. So um, patients can come in to the Sanford location, which is where we are today, mm -hmm. and then head over to Waffle House, right? Yeah, after, exactly. Right? You get to have lunch right after you get adjusted. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're a chiropractor. Yes. Right? Okay. How long have you been a chiropractor? I graduated in the year 2000, a long time ago. Oh my goodness. Yes. So you've been doing this for 20 years. 20 years. Okay. And I'm sure maybe most of our viewers know what a chiropractor is, but could you just tell us what a chiropractor does and how you're different than a medical doctor or DO and what kind of benefits you can provide to your patients? As a chiropractic physician, we do not prescribe medication. We're more of a natural doctor. Um, we use adjusting and adjusting technique to move bones into alignment. The spine, I wish I had a spine right now. Um, the spine has um, all the spinal nerves travel out of it. And all of those nerves are what communicate with the brain. So if I burn my finger, that nerve is traveling up my arm into my brain to tell me that I burned my finger. Well, because of the spinal column, there is pressure coming from a misalignment of a bone on a nerve and it interferes in the communication. What I do is I clear the communication to the brain. Okay. That's a natural way of saying it. I also, when there's pain, I put the bone back in place so that it doesn't hurt. <laughs> that's the easy way of saying it. Yeah, that's it. a real simple way to explain yeah. it. Um, and I know, you know, some, some people might out there um, have been thinking about going to a chiropractor, but maybe a little bit nervous because I think a lot of people think of cracking. Yes. So um, is there alternatives to that aggressive cracking or there, is there oh, a different approach? that can? I have used? many different approaches and I always gear that to the patients, what they're comfortable with. I talk to them. If you actually go to my Facebook page, you can see me adjusting. I talk to them before I adjust them. I make sure they're really comfortable with what I'm doing. I like to explain everything probably a little bit too much. Um, but I use a lot of different techniques so that there's a low force. It doesn't always have to be that sound, but I like to tell everybody that the cracking, all it is is gases being released from in between the bones. If you have a misalignment, which should be nice and even like this, this is a normal bone. If you have a misalignment, gas is going to build up here. And when I go in and align it, that's the sound that comes out. So it's really not There's nothing bone, breaking, no. bones cracking mm -hmm. or any ligaments getting torn. It's, it's really gases. Yes. Really yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, as a chiropractor, you brought up ligaments. You know, a lot of people self adjust. They'll crack their own neck and crack their knuckles. And I'm one of those people. No, don't do that. Reason being is the ligaments, which connect bone to bone, get stretched if you don't do it in the right direction. So as a chiropractor, that's oh. what we're taught is it, uh, it's called a vector. We want to adjust in the correct vector and alignment of the way that the bones line up. And you know, when you just go and twist your head, you can actually create ligament laxity. And you're more inclined to get injured, say you have an accident. If you do that on a regular basis and you have ligament laxity in your neck, your, your injuries will be worse due to that. Interesting. So what kind of um, patients do you see at your practice? Um, you know, what are you seeing patients after car accidents? Are you seeing sports injuries? Like what is what are the see, typical patients that you see? I do see car accident victims. I see sports injury. I see wellness patients. I see from babies all the way up to as far as you can go. And what about patients out there who maybe are a candidate to have some sort of surgery, let's just say spine surgery or even a knee surgery, but they're a little bit nervous about that. And so they're looking for alternatives. Do you offer any sort of alternatives to those surgical 
um, patients who just aren't ready to do that yet. I absolutely do, and this is why we have this in the background. And, and what is this? This is what we call acoustic compression therapy. It is a therapy that uses a focused ultrasound wave to break up scar tissue and adhesion. Um, when we have an injury like a disc injury or an arthritic knee, a lot of scar tissue is going to build up around that. It also, the other thing that's amazing about it, it induces collagen. Now, every joint in our body needs collagen. That's the nice cushiony part that makes it so it doesn't hurt. So we want collagen, just like our skin, collagen. Um, so yeah, this induces collagen, but we use this, um, it helps with pain. I, I can do this anywhere on the body. It can go over metal. So if you've had an injury, say you've had scar, uh, scar, spine surgery, and you might have a metal rod in your back. I can actually use this on that. Oh, that's so, and you know, especially scol scoliosis patients where, you know, they've got a lot of scar tissue because is what we were talking about earlier. Once you have surgery, you're never going to be the same because scar tissue develops. So this is great post-op. We wait about six weeks after surgery and we start doing this. I actually did it on my own son. He had a ACL repair and about six weeks, eight weeks out, we started doing that and he still continues to do it to strengthen his knee. And he's doing really well. He's back playing basketball, which is great. Um, yeah, he, he was a little worried. He was never going to be the same, but I think he's, he's doing good. And I know um, personally, my husband came in because he is a candidate for a knee replacement and he is too young to go through that type of surgery. So he actually underwent this acoustic compression therapy and had great results. So thank you for that. You're very and welcome. I'm really he was a good that, patient. <laughs> I'm excited that you have this type of treatment that we offer because I know as a surgery attorney, a lot of times I have clients who just don't want to have surgery or they're scared or they're not a candidate and um, you know they, they feel hope, like hopeless. They yes. can't get rid of the pain, the pain is still there. Would those types of patients benefit from this therapy as well? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, bringing up the knee, that's one of my favorite things because we could get somebody that's coming in here, they're limping to the back of the room to go get the treatment and they can actually, they will stand up and go, oh my God, You most people, I would say 90% of our patients feel a change after the first treatment, which is amazing. 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 And because of the, Reduction of collagen in the area. Um, it actually, um, uh, my mentor who taught me all about this machine, he actually did a pre x ray and a post x ray. He did uh, six weeks of treatment three times a week and he increased joint space by it was like two millimeters. Wow. Which is unheard of. Um, I know that this machine is used for, I mean, so many more, I mean, veterinarians are using this now on horses, race horses. They're using it for fractures. I mean, it's, the machine is absolutely amazing. And, you know, for anyone that might be considering using this as an option to pay for pain relief or to break up scar tissue or to avoid having a surgery, um, are there any needles involved or is it invasive? This is so non-invasive. Put our, our minds at ease a yes. little bit. <laughs> this right here is one of the heads. We have two different heads that we use. This is rubber. It feels very nice. We use an ultrasound gel and we rub this across the area. It does make a clicking sound and that is the um, ultrasound wave going into the body. What is great about this machine and anybody who's ever gone to a chiropractor and had typical ultrasound, that ultrasound unit is just heat. It's it, what we consider a deep heater. It goes three to five millimeters down into the muscle tissue and heats it up to bring in blood flow. This actually, you can feel it working. And that's the best part. You're not getting a therapy where they're like, hey, I didn't feel anything. You right. feel this. And it can get a little bit uncomfortable, but again, it's the patient tolerance. Um, we're always gonna work with you, but I promise you when you get up, you're gonna feel a difference. That's great. Um, well, I appreciate you explaining this amazing therapy option that you have. And um, we do do this on our personal injury patients as well. Oh, okay. And we're helping them to move faster in their treatment, which is great. Yes. A lot of people come in and there's so much pain and they're hopeless, what you said. I mean, they're just lost because they're like, I can't function this way. And right. we're able to get them without pain medication. Which is really to, good, especially yes. because of the addictive nature of yes. um, pain We medication. try to avoid anybody getting any pain medication at all if we can. I mean, if they need it, of course, we'll refer them out. But who wants to take that chance? Because I've seen people in a matter of a week or two 
all of a sudden they're like, I have flu-like symptoms. It's because they were coming off the medication. They're having withdrawal symptoms. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Well, this is great. And um, do you have this at any other locations or is this just in the Sanford location? It's in the Orlando location as well. And uh, I don't I don't have it in Daytona yet. We're working on that. But I, up in Daytona, we have what's called a class four laser. It does a lot of the same things, a different type of therapy and it affects the body in a different ways. It uses light therapy to increase the ADP, ATP production, which is a long a lot more than you want to know right now. <laughs> um, but that one feels really nice and comfortable. But each of my locations, we have something to help everyone. <laughs> That's great. And I mean, I know that I have um, spent some time with you and I know you're really passionate about what you do and you have an amazing background. And I know that we were talking before we got started today as to why you became a chiropractor and why you provide the type of care that you do to your patients. Um, so what do you want your viewers to know? Why are you doing this? Why are you a chiropractor? It's kind of a little bit of a funny story. I was in a car accident. That part's not funny. <laughs> I was in a car accident when I was 13 years old. And back when I was young, you didn't have to wear seatbelts. So I went through the windshield and I was in the hospital for five days. I have a big scar across my head and I had some scars on my face. And that's what everybody worried about. Nobody worried about my spine. So I got out of the hospital. That was it. We went with the attorney. We sued. I had a scar on my head. That was it. Five years later, I started developing migraines. And at first, they kind of related them, oh, your mom has migraines. It's hereditary. Well, right. my mom- It's hormonal. Yeah, it's hereditary, hereditary. my mother was premenopausal. That's why she had migraines. It had nothing to do with heredity. Um, so I went to every doctor in the world, and I saw neurologists. I saw everybody. I had every kind of scan you can imagine. Because I had extremely severe migraines where I was having what they call an aura. I um, would lose peripheral vision. I'd lose feeling in my arm, feeling in my face. So if you have that, I know exactly what you're going through. I had about three to five of those a month, and it was starting to really affect my life at 18 years old, where maintaining a job was hard because I would be down for two days after the headache. Um, and it was a chiropractor that, and by the way, I thought chiropractors were a little goofy. I was not going to go to them. I, I knew Scared nothing about, I, was, I, was, I, I just thought, not a real doctor. That's kind of what I thought. And this gentleman said, just let me x-ray your neck. Just let me show you. Well, your neck, your head is a bowling ball. It's about 14 pounds average. And my neck, you have a, a, everybody has a natural cervical curve. My cervical curve was 32 degrees in the opposite direction. That's why I was having the headaches that I was having. After my first adjustment, I had one headache that month and I was able to take over the counter medication instead of the medications the neurologists were giving me, which would knock me out and make me speak backwards for two days. Yeah. I mean, it was so bad. Um, and I, this was at 22 years old. I am now 53. I've had nine migraines since then. So That's amazing. I, as a chiropractor, I mean, at, I went to school at 26 years old because this changed my life so much that I was like, I want people to know that this can help you. That you do not have to suffer in pain. Right. And there are all alternatives to medication. And you know, when somebody tells you you have to take medication for the rest of your life, that's an awful feeling. Right. So, well, and, it's, and, and thank you for sharing that with us. And I think it's really important for patients to understand that you know what pain is and you know how your life can be changed by pain and then fixed by going to a chiropractor mm -hmm. and receiving the treatments, not only that you receive, but now that you do on your own patients. Yes. So I think that's amazing. Yeah. Um, well, is there anything else that you want to share with the viewers out there who might be interested in, in getting treatment by a chiropractor or something that you want them to, to know more about you and your practice before we end for today? Uh, I would just say, come in and talk to me. First of all, it doesn't cost you anything to come and talk to me. Um, if you're afraid, come in, we'll sit down, we'll talk about what treatments we have to offer and make you as comfortable as possible. But I say don't suffer in pain. You, you're not supposed to be in pain and I want to help. So it, it, you have nothing to lose except for your pain to come and see me. Great. And do you have social media? Yes, I do. Okay, so where can our viewers find you? All of my, I have Facebook pages for, it's uh, uh, Injury Health Center Sanford, Injury Health Center Daytona, and there is an Injury Health Center Orlando as well. Um, so you can go there and then Injury Health Center 
Florida, Injury Health Centers Florida on our Instagram page. I do have a YouTube page and that's, I think it's Injury Health Center Stanford as well. Okay, great. Well, I'm sure if they just enter Injury Health Center, they'll be able to find you. Um, just look for me. There's videos of me all over it. So <laughs> just look for me. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really thank you. appreciate it. And thank you viewers for taking the time to learn about Dr. Prosha and her practice, Injury Health Center, uh, locations in Orlando, Daytona, and Sanford. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time.